You must be connected to whatever Gigi's trying to tell me. I know. It sounds crazy. I didn't say anything. You didn't have to. But if I can solve your problem, what do you care? And how do you plan to help me? Well, I'm a PI, remember? A damn good one. You want to find Kim's friend, so do I. The woman is sick. She doesn't need to be hassled. I'm not going to hurt her. I just want to find out. Find out what? I, I, I don't know why Gigi keeps sending me messages. Look, what do you care? You want to find her anyway, right? Just tell me the name of the hospital. I'll, I'll, I'll track her down. Kimberly said that this girl's having trouble paying her medical expenses. So this can't wait. You gotta find her right away. And when you do, I'm your first phone call. What about Kim? I will make sure to tell her. She's important to me, and believe it or not, we still care about each other. I want to help her just like I know that she would want to help me. Kimberly's a remarkable woman. One of a kind. You're a real piece of work, Kim. You're talking about a multi-billion dollar fortune. You got that right. Houses, businesses, stocks, money. Oh, I got a whole list. Oh, yeah, I'll just bet you do. So now let's get real. Give me a number that is possible. Anything's and we'll possible, deal. Countess. Your son could end up in the slammer for murder. How much is this freedom worth to you? You're smarter than this, Kim. You want an amount of money that you can walk away with. A big, fat chunk of money that won't raise any questions. You get greedy, you lose. This isn't about greed. And it isn't for me. You want to give Clint back all his money. You want, you want it back so you can bleed him dry. You don't know me. Oh, I've known a lot of versions of you. All I need is enough to take care of my sick friend. Oh! <laughs> that old line! <laughs> you really want to insult me right now? No! I want to get you to see reason. Oh, I'm being very reasonable. Your son wanted money in exchange for someone's life. I'm doing the same thing. It's justice. Yes, Rex wanted justice. Jack Manning killed Gigi. Victor Lord got him. Oh, I don't got the free. That's damn why Rex did it. Okay, he killed a guy. You want that gun? You deal with me, or the LPD gets it. A warrant for the arrest of Todd Manning. Well, that was fast. You got Runyon? You found the evidence compelling. Well, I'm not trying to be the bad guy here. Uh, no, no, that's Judge Runyon. Uh, McBain's usually able to talk about I wouldn't about bother it. with that. The judge is solid. Are you sure you want to make this call? I already did. You have your warrant. Do your job. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you justice. I just can't believe you're gone. I really thought it was you when I walked in here. That's crazy, isn't it? I just wanted it to be you so bad. I can't let Danny see me like this. <laughs> Not after the state she saw me in this morning. I, uh, I told her I was fine. I lied. Yeah, I lied. But I know it's true. I know Scarface killed you. Why should he get to walk when there weren't any witnesses? I need to keep it together for Danny. How do I do that? <laughs> you need to teach me, Victor. When you thought I was gone and it was just the two of you, that's when she really fell in love with you. You were a good father to her. You didn't lose it. How am I going to keep it together for Danny? 
how am I going to teach her that she has to move on if I have no idea how to do that myself? Mom. I figured when I heard Sean tell Star what you said, that was like a sign. Someone wanted me to be the perfect witness. It was you. Wasn't it? You wanted me to hear, right? Don't worry, Dad. You had my back. Now I've got yours. <laughs>